What's up guys, Mason and Brock Anderson here, and this is The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 11, Hostiles and Calamities. So, this one was definitely a lot more interesting than last week, mainly because a lack of stupid broken English talking, and also a lot more of Eugene, and that's... I, I don't feel like I need to say much more than that. It was a very Eugene-centered episode, and that's a lot of fun. So, we see Eugene is being taken to... Uh, Sanctuary? Is that what it's called? Why can't I remember the name of the Savior's compound now? I want to say Sanctuary. He's being taken back there, and we see Negan's kind of playing the good cop routine, just trying to be nicer to him so that he'll feel at home, and, you know, where he looks at Daryl and says, okay, so we're going to have to try to crack this tough nut. With with uh, Eugene, it's almost like we don't really have to crack him because he's already cracked. We just need to kind of be the ones to mend him back together and so then he'll start working for us and ultimately it works you know like that's kind of the big talking point about this episode for me is that we go through all of this we see Eugene experiencing everything we see him like learning to kind of take what's his and stand up for himself a little bit more and at the end of it he gets asked who are you and before he can before Negan can even finish you he says I am Negan I'm 100% fully, utterly Negan. He said, I've been Negan since before I met you, I just had to meet, I just had to have a face-to-face -face with you first. So, I, I honestly think, you know, some people are going to say, well, maybe this is just Eugene playing him. I honestly think it's just Eugene's way of saying, this is how I'm going to stay alive. And he's always been that way. I mean, even from lying at the beginning about knowing how to cure the disease for the walkers, he says whatever he has to say to stay alive. So whether or not he means he's Negan, I'm not sure yet. I don't think this is him trying to play Negan, though. I don't think this is him trying to work some long con or anything like that. I think he honestly is just accepting, this is what I have to do now to stay alive. I have to be Negan. I have to be a part of this. I have to accept my role. And I love the scene where he goes to the woman trying to get meds. And she's just like, you see the line? Get in the back of it. And he just turns around, and he just breathes for a second, and then turns back around. It's like, what's your number? It's like, 16? I'm Dr. Eugene Porter, and I'm the master engineer here. He just goes on this long rant, and it's just like, I, I answered Negan, which means you answered my ass. And I'm just like, holy crap, who is this new guy? It really changed his demeanor at that point you know just change to kind of a a more confident person and I think that's where it started and then on top of that we see what happens to the doctor and I'll talk about that story in a second but after what happens to the doctor I think Eugene realizes if I don't accept this if I don't buy into this 100% I am going to end up like that doctor I am going to die and he sees you know he sees it happening to somebody else and not to himself I think that really kind of pushes him over the edge to the point where, you know, the the wives that are asking him to make drugs to kill that other wife that wants to to be dead, at that point they come and ask him for it and he's just like, No, I'm not going to and he's like, You don't play me for a fool, I know you're trying to kill Negan and he's like, I won't I won't be a part of this. And even like one of one of the best lines out of him in this episode is that they're saying, you know, we'll tell Negan that you, it was your all your idea and you're the one that created it and we'll show him the pills. And he's like, yes, but the same thing will happen will happen with the White and the Doctor. He'll believe me over you because you're expendable. You can be replaced. I'm like, holy crap. Like, this is not the same Eugene that I know. He is just, he's so much more confident in what he's saying. He's, this, the normal Eugene would be like, oh crap, you, you're right. You, you would tell him, no. Oh. Well, I had the pills or something like that. But he's just like, no, it won't matter. He'll believe me over you because he needs me. He doesn't need you. You can be replaced. And it's true. But that's not something I expect Eugene to say. That's not something I expect him to just be like, yeah, take that, bitches. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very strange to see him in this new demeanor. And I'm wondering how long this is going to last. You know, obviously there will probably come a point where there's going to be kind of a war between the saviors and then uh, probably the other, you know, Alexandria, uh, the Hilltop Kingdom, the the new group that they met, there's probably going to be a point where a war happens, and then at that point, it's almost going to be 
Eugene's probably just going to hide out to the side and just wait for it all to finish because he knows he can't get involved because that at that point he might die. And I think that's what mainly what he's trying to avoid. So it's just it's a very interesting story for him. And I love what they're doing with it. You know, they're just they're kind of changing things around. They're going against what I really expected. You know, I was wondering exactly what's going to happen to Eugene. I kind of I kind of figured they were going to treat him a little bit better. They weren't going to torture him as much because all he does is just cry if you torture him. But I didn't expect it to be this effective. I didn't expect it to actually start to work to the point where now he is Negan, you know? So it was it was just really interesting to see Eugene tonight and just see him in a new light as well. On top of that, we see the other side of the story, which is Dwight. We find out that apparently Sherry also left whenever she let uh, Daryl out and you know it, it was kind of I, I thought so I thought it was Sherry that let him out because Jesus just sort of seemed to to pop in right as Daryl was escaping so I didn't really think he was that involved in the escape attempt but we find out for sure in this episode Sherry is the one that let him out on top of that she also ran away and so Dwight ends up spending the night in the one of the holes in the little prison things and so Negan comes in and just starts questioning him and just like who are you he's like I'm Negan and so he knows he has to go get her back well we see that he has the note that she left Daryl and he goes to this house and then he goes in and all of a sudden you hear her dialogue being played and of course it ends up being the note that she left for him where pretty much she says why she did it she says she's sorry for what happened she didn't want to be responsible for what happened to him with Negan and all that stuff and she hates the fact that she married Negan to keep him alive although he didn't want that and now it's changed him as a person and ultimately I think the really sucky part about all of it is that Dwight it kind of sucks for him you know like I do I, I'm still kind of frustrated with Dwight I still don't really like him but I understand him. I understand the frustration and the, the anger that he's going through. You know, like, it's just, he brings the beer and pretzels that she was talking about in the letter, how they were going to meet at this house, and they were going to, you know, celebrate together. They were going to spend the rest of their lives together. He brings the beer and pretzels. He was fully ready to to run away with her. He brought his engagement ring and his little cigarette packet. He brought a cigarette for her. And just... She decides no, she can't do it. You know, she she's not sure if he was the same person anymore. I think ultimately we see he still is that same person. He's still deep down. You know, Daryl, like she said in the, in the note, Daryl did remind him of who he was, and so I think that side of him is starting to show up a bit more and is still there. But I think ultimately he's burying it deep down and just keeps doing awful things for Negan because he wants to make sure Negan trusts him a hundred percent. I think once he gets that trust 100%, he might actually try something. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's where it's going. I'm not sure if it's going to be a moment where Dwight sees an opening and tries to kill him. And probably will fail because I feel like the true justice would be Maggie gets to kill Negan. But who knows, maybe Dwight will be the one to do it. Maybe he'll take over for Negan. He'll become the new Negan <laughs> that they have to take on. I hope not because Negan's so much better than Dwight. But anyway, it's it's just it's sad to see what he has to go through and you know, it's it's really heartbreaking to see that all of this crap just keeps happening to him. It's like he can't catch a break. However, like I said, he does do some things that <laughs> do make me not feel as sorry for him because we see once he gets back to the compound, the doctors stitching him up again, you know, treating the wound that was left. And all of a sudden we see Everybody's gathered around the big furnace, and so we know some of these faces about to get burned off. And the doctor was kind of standing out front, so I'm like, wait, is he going to end up with his face burned? And we come to find out that Dwight planted the bottom part of the, the letter that Sherry left that said, goodbye, honey. P planted that in the doctor's office and told Negan that he found Sherry as she was being eaten by walkers. And she told him that apparently the doctor is the one that let Daryl out for her, and so that's why she ran away. So we see Negan's about to burn his face, and of course the doctor's denying it, denying it, but then he says, I'm sorry, thinking last chance, maybe it'll work. 
It works a little too well because Negan then believes that he's actually the one that let Daryl out and then tosses him into the furnace. So, yeah, kind of, kind of surprising. And honestly, part of me wondered if, after the Doctor says, I'm sorry, part of me wondered if Negan was not going to kill him or burn him, trying to play that good cop angle some more. But then he grabbed him and I'm just like, oh, never mind. Um, but it's, it's just interesting to see that despite the fact that I kind of feel for Dwight, he still does things that make me want to hate him, you know, make me want to fully say, I can't stand that guy. But ultimately, he still is a tragic character, you know, he's just doing what he has to do to survive. He's doing what he has to do to get close to Negan. And I do think that he will at some point try to kill Negan, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. I'm wondering if possibly Eugene will step in the way and stop him, uh, just because it seems like he he is a survivalist, he's somebody who's going to do anything to survive, and in his mind, in his logical mind, killing the man in power may upset the balance and may cause a lot of disruption and chaos in this place where things are looking really good for him. And so he may look at that and say, I can't have Negan dead without you know, some sort of plan in place, and so he may end up saving Negan's life from Dwight. That would probably be very interesting, and I wonder if that's what they're going to do, but until then, I mean, it's a really good setup for, for later on. You know, it's mainly, it's all about Dwight and Eugene in this episode, so none of the stuff with Alexandria or any of the people there. But oh, overall, I mean, it's a lot of really good, interesting stuff. It's just, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's really interesting what they're doing with Eugene, what they're doing with Dwight. These characters that... Eugene has always been kind of the comic relief, and Dwight has just been a guy that it seemed like we just were supposed to hate him because he's a dick. Now they're really doing different things with these characters that I wasn't expecting. And so they're taking him to new places, they're making me feel bad for Dwight, they're making Eugene look like he's turncoat now for, for Negan. It's very, very interesting. I love what they're doing right now. So that's about it for this episode. Um, trying to remember if there's anything else I want to talk about. I think that's about it. Um, so, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What did you like and dislike about this episode? Let me know. We can talk about it and discuss all that good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe for future Walking Dead reviews, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace out.